Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, we will learn how to create a Confetti animation in Flutter. So what do you mean by a Confetti animation? So for example, when we have a birthday party or wedding party and we cut a cake, we blast a popper from which many uh, pa paper particles will come out as a animation or you can say it as a celebration or regiment okay so here i have created a demo app for our understanding of confetti animation so there is a cap from this cap there will be a confetti animation will be shown so when i press on this button so you can see so these are the paper particles or you can say confetti that pops from this cap so it is looking as if the particles are coming from this uh, birthday or part party cap okay so in this tutorial we will just create this app okay so let's begin okay so now let's go to our android studio okay so this is our android studio and this is the default code so for now it simply have a empty container okay so first of all we need to add a package that is confetti package so just go to pop specification dot yaml file and under dependency section after two space you just need to add this package so just add this package and hit this pub get button okay so after doing that come back to main dot dart and import the package that we need so i have imported it already okay so now let's me create a scaffold widget okay so inside scaffold widget i will just create a body tag and inside body tag i will add a column widget so that I can add many numbers of widgets into it. Okay, so I want this widget at the center of my screen. So I will just make use of main access alignment center. Okay, so inside this widget, I will add a network image and a button. So this is my network image. That is the birthday cap and an elevated button. Okay, so when this elevated button is being pressed, I want to show or play our confetti animation. Okay, so this is the birthday cap and this is the button to start and stop our uh, confetti animation. Okay, so now let's create a constructor for our confetti animation. Okay, so I have imported this package. So I, now I can use it. Okay, so let's create a constructor over here. Okay, so confetti controller confetti is equal to confetti controller. Okay, so here I have created an object so I can use it anywhere in my app. Okay, so this is just a controller and I also need a variable to understand if the confetti is playing or it is stopped. Okay, so for that I will just initialize a variable and set it to false okay so now in this column widget above this image i want to add a confetti widget okay so let's do that okay so confetti confetti widget okay so to this confetti widget i need to add our controller that we have created so this is our controller okay so just add the controller over here so by making use of this controller we can control our confetti widget to stop and pause this confetti okay so here there are various properties so if you go to this library file you can just make use of all these properties to customize your confetti animation okay so let's use this one by one okay so first one is should loop so you can just set it to true or false so if we set it to true it will be in loop and it will be continuously moving animating okay okay so let's use other other, other properties afterward so let me add a start and stop button to uh, start and stop the confetti animation over here so here controller dot play will start the confetti animation and controller dot stop will stop the animation okay so i need to uh, perform this action by depending on our variable so if it is playing then i need to stop and if it is stopped then i need to pause 
okay so for this i am going to initialize init method so inside this init method i am going to perform it okay so i want to get the state of this controller so if it is playing or if it is in pause mode okay so for this i will make use of add listener okay so over here set state is playing is equal to config controller dot state is equal to equal to config state dot is playing so now here it will just check if our state is playing or if it is in stop mode so depending on is uh, this will get this value will get changed to true or false okay so now let's use this in this button if is playing is true then i need to stop the confetti animation else i want to play the animation again okay so the same thing i want to change the button name or a button text so let's do that is playing and then stop else play so if it is true then it is playing and if it is uh, false then it means we can play the animation okay so now let me run this app and check if it is working or no okay so the app is running on my device so when i press on this button so you can see a confetti animation is been shown that is blasting to the left okay so let me rotate this image uh, 180 degree okay so for this i will just wrap this image widget with a rotated box okay so rotated box i want to rotate the quarter turning i will just do it two times okay so it will just turn here and then turn again here okay so now you can see okay so i also want to decrease the size of this image so what i can do is i will just wrap uh the rotator box with a container widget and give height to it okay so width and height of 200 by 200 okay so it is not at the center so i can just wrap this column widget at the center yeah okay so i want to uh, customize this uh, confetti animation so let's come to the properties of this confetti widget okay so for now the blast is from right to left so i want to change the direction so for that i can make use of blast direction okay so i want to make the blast from up so what i can do is i can make use of pi value that is 1. Point, uh, 3.14 divided by 2 okay so let's check this okay, so i need to restart yes okay so now you can see it is upwards okay so if you want to make it downwards you can just uh remove the minus sign from this pi value so if i refresh okay, so you can see it is falling downwards okay so i want to make it right then i can just set it to zero okay so you can see it is moving right side and by default it is 3.14 means it will just move as it was before it was moving uh, right to left okay so i will just keep it as upwards that is minus divided by 2 okay so this was one property and there is one more property called as blast direction if you want directionality if you want to uh, blast the direction on all the sides so blast direction explosion expose you okay so refresh okay so we just saw right left up and down so now in all the direction this will be uh, configured so you can see okay now 
let's add a gravity so gravity i can make it as 0.1 0 0.0 to 1.0 so i will just set it to 0 0.1 and let's check the animation of gravity okay okay so you can see the gra gravity is little less in this case so if i do 1.0 and refresh let's wait okay so you can see the gravity is speed so it is just falling down okay okay so now if you want to increase the number of particles that get conflicted so you can just define the number of uh, particles need to release each time okay so you can see let's wait okay, so i will just make this 0 0.1 okay so so the each each iteration the particles will be about 40 okay so you can see okay so now instead of this square or rectangle uh, particles i want to add our customized uh, uh, particles so you can just make use of a path uh, drawing so let me show you okay so here uh, i will just create a path that i just copied from google so it is a star drawing draw star so the particles will be in a star shape okay so let me use this so this code will be on my website protocoldaspoint.com you can just take it from there if you need okay so here i want our customized particles so create particle path okay and here just pass the path that we have created okay so let me refresh the app and check okay so now if i press on this button so you can see there is a star particles been popped from this confetti animation okay so the gravity should be 0 0.3 it will be good in looking so the animation is very slow by 0 0.1 okay so you can see the confetti animation okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to implement confetti animation in flutter so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point the complete source code of this video tutorial will be on my website that is protocol as point.com you can just check the link in the description